The Sun Rising, is a poem written by the English poet John Donne, which was published in 1633 as part of his collection of poems titled, Songs and Sonnets. The poem is a classic example of a metaphysical poem, known for its intellectual and philosophical exploration of love. Here is the full text of, The Sun Rising. Busy old fool, unruly sun. Why dost thou thus? Through windows, and through curtains call on us. Must to thy motions lovers seasons run? Saucy pedantic wretch, go chide. Late schoolboys and sour prentices. Gatell court huntsmen that the king will ride. Call country ants to harvest offices. Love, all alike, no season knows nor climb. Nor hours, days, months, which are the rags of time. Thy beams so reverend and strong. Why shouldst thou think? I could eclipse and cloud them with a wink. But that I would not lose her sights along. If her eyes have not blinded thine. Look, and tomorrow late, tell me. Whether both th, India's of spice and mine. Beware thou left them, or lie here with me. Ask for those kings whom thou sawst yesterday. And thou shalt hear, all here in one bed lay. She's all states, and all princes I. Nothing else is. Princes do but play us, compared to this. All honors mimic, all wealth alchemy. Thou, son, art half as happy as we. In that the world's contracted thus. Thine age asks ease, and since thy duties be. To warm the world, that's done in warming us. Shine here to us, and thou art everywhere. This bed thy center is, these walls thy sphere. In the poem, the speaker addresses the sun, which has risen and disturbed the intimate moment between the speaker and their beloved. The speaker tells the sun not to bother them, as love is not bound by time or external forces. The sun is referred to as a busy old fool for intruding on their privacy and disrupting their blissful state. The speaker then goes on to boast about the power of love, claiming that it makes them richer than any king or ruler. They emphasize that their world revolves around their lover, and their bed is the center of everything. The Sun Rising, is a witty and clever poem that explores themes of love, time, and the insignificance of external factors in the face of true love. It showcases John Donne's mastery of metaphysical poetry and his ability to blend intellectualism with emotional depth. Let's go through, The Sun Rising, by John Donne line by line. Busy old fool, unruly sun. The speaker addresses the sun, calling it a, busy old fool, and, unruly, suggesting that it is intrusive and disruptive. Why dost thou thus? The speaker questions why the sun behaves in such a manner, referring to its habit of shining through windows and curtains. Through windows, and through curtains call on us. The sun's rays are portrayed as if it is calling or bothering the speaker by shining through their windows and curtains. Must to thy motions lovers' seasons run? The speaker wonders if lovers' actions and emotions should be dictated by the movements of the sun. Saucy pedantic wretch, go chide. The speaker calls the sun a saucy pedantic wretch, criticizing it for being arrogant and overly intellectual. Late schoolboys and sour apprentices. The speaker humorously suggests that the sun should go and scold late schoolboys and grumpy apprentices. Gatell court huntsmen that the king will ride. The speaker further mocks the sun, saying it should go and form the royal huntsmen that the king will go on a ride. Call country ants to harvest offices. The sun is playfully told to summon the hard-working ants to their duties during harvest time. Love, all alike, no season knows nor climb. The speaker asserts that love is constant and universal, not affected by seasons or geographic locations. Nor hours, days, months, which are the rags of time. The speaker dismisses the significance of time, considering hours, days, and months as insignificant remnants rags, when it comes to love. Thy beams so reverend and strong. The speaker acknowledges the strength and reverence associated with the sun's rays. Why shouldst thou think? The speaker questions why the sun believes its beams are so powerful and significant. I could eclipse and cloud them with a wink. The speaker humorously claims that they could easily eclipse and obscure the sun's rays just by blinking. But that I would not lose her sights along. The speaker expresses that they do not want to close their eyes even for a moment, as they do not want to lose sight of their beloved. If her eyes have not blinded thine. The speaker humorously suggests that their lover's eyes might have blinded the sun. Look, and tomorrow late, tell me. The speaker challenges the sun to look again the next day and inform them if the Indias of spice and mine, referring to valuable possessions are still where they were. Whether both th, Indias of spice and mine. 
The speaker mentions the riches and treasures of the East and West Indies, symbolizing valuable possessions. Beware thou left them, or lie here with me. The speaker wonders if the valuable possessions of the world are still in their original places or if they have now become present in the room with them and their lover. Ask for those kings whom thou sawst yesterday. The speaker suggests that the sun should inquire about the kings it saw the day before. And thou shalt hear, all here in one bed lay. The speaker humorously replies that the answer would be that all those kings are now together, lying in one bed with the speaker and their beloved. She's all states, and all princes I. The speaker metaphorically expresses that their lover encompasses all states, kingdoms, and all rulers, princes. Nothing else is. The speaker emphasizes that their lover is everything to them, and nothing else matters. Princes do but play us, compared to this. The speaker believes that even powerful rulers are insignificant compared to the love they share with their beloved. All honors mimic, all wealth alchemy. The speaker compares all the honor and wealth in the world to mere imitations and illusions in contrast to their profound love. Thou, son, art half as happy as we. The speaker playfully suggests that the son is only half as happy as they are, given the intense love they share with their beloved. In that the world's contracted thus. The speaker explains that the world seems small and insignificant compared to the immense happiness they experience in their love. Thine age asks ease, and since thy duties be. The speaker suggests that the son's age asks for rest and ease, given its daily duties. To warm the world, that's done in warming us. The speaker playfully concludes that the son's essential task of warming the world is already accomplished by the warmth of their love. Shine here to us, and thou art everywhere. The speaker asks the sun to continue shining in their room, and in doing so, it will be present and felt everywhere. This bed thy center is, these walls thy sphere. The speaker whimsically suggests that their bed is the center of the world, and the walls of their room are the sun's sphere of influence, as long as it continues to shine on them. The Sun Rising is a delightful poem that mixes wit, humor, and philosophical contemplation on the power of love and its ability to transcend time and space. The Sun Rising, by John Donne is a metaphysical poem in which the speaker addresses the sun, criticizing it for interrupting a private and intimate moment with their beloved. The speaker playfully mocks the sun, calling it a, busy old fool, and questioning why it intrudes through windows and curtains. The speaker declares that love knows no bounds of time or seasons, dismissing the significance of hours, days, and months in the face of true love. The speaker humorously claims that they could easily obscure the sun's rays with a simple wink, but they choose not to do so as they don't want to lose sight of their beloved. The speaker even suggests that their lover's eyes might have blinded the sun. They challenge the sun to inquire about the world's riches and possessions, only to find that everything of value lies in the room with the speaker and their beloved. The speaker describes their lover as encompassing all states and all rulers, emphasizing that their beloved is everything to them, making worldly honors and wealth appear insignificant in comparison. The poem concludes with the speaker asserting that their happiness in love surpasses the sun's, and their bed becomes the center of the world, with the walls representing the sun's sphere of influence as long as it continues to shine on them. In summary, The Sun Rising explores themes of love's transcendence, the insignificance of external forces in true love, and the playfulness of the speaker as they address the sun while celebrating the intensity of their affection for their beloved. The Sun Rising, by John Donne is a metaphysical poem that delves into themes of love, time, and the insignificance of external factors in the face of true affection. Written in the early 17th century, the poem follows a witty and playful tone as the speaker addresses the sun and conveys their deep affection for their beloved. The poem opens with the speaker addressing the sun as a, busy old fool, and, unruly. The sun's rays are seen as intrusive, disturbing the intimacy between the speaker and their lover. The question, why dost thou thus, challenges the sun's behavior of shining through windows and curtains, seemingly calling on the speaker and their beloved. The speaker humorously, wonders if lover's actions should be dictated by the sun's movements, as they call it a, saucy pedantic wretch, suggesting arrogance and intellectual pretensions. Continuing with the playful tone, the speaker mockingly tells the son to go reprimand late schoolboys and grumpy apprentices and to inform the court huntsmen about the king's plans. They even tell the son to summon country ants to their harvest duties. Through this, the speaker emphasizes the son's limited influence in contrast to the grand scope of love. The speaker then asserts that love is not bound by time or external factors, declaring that it knows no season nor clime. 
Love is portrayed as eternal and universal, unaffected by the passing hours, days, and months, which are dismissed as mere rags of time. In the following lines, the speaker uses humor and wordplay to claim that they could easily obscure the sun's rays with a wink, but they refrain from doing so as they do not want to lose sight of their beloved. They humorously suggest that their lover's eyes might have blinded the sun itself. The speaker playfully challenges the sun to inquire about the world's riches and valuable possessions, only to find that all such wealth is present in the room with them and their beloved. This is a poetic exaggeration to emphasize the significance and richness of their love compared to worldly possessions. The poem's tone shifts to a more serious and contemplative mood as the speaker describes their lover as encompassing all states and rulers, suggesting that their beloved holds supreme importance in their life. All worldly honors and wealth are deemed insignificant when compared to the profundity of their affection. The poem concludes with the speaker asserting that their happiness in love surpasses the sun's happiness, as their world seems small and contracted compared to the immense joy they experience with their beloved. The bed they share becomes the center of the world, and the walls of the room represent the sun's sphere of influence, signifying the powerful presence of love. In summary, The Sun Rising is a charming and metaphysical poem that blends wit, humor, and philosophical contemplation on love and time. The speaker's playful address to the sun serves as a vehicle to celebrate the intensity of their affection for their beloved while dismissing the insignificance of external forces in true love's transcendence. The Sun Rising by John Donne is a delightful poem that showcases the poet's wit, metaphysical exploration, and profound appreciation for love. It is considered one of Donne's finest examples of metaphysical poetry, characterized by its intellectual depth, unconventional imagery, and skillful use of conceits. Let's delve deeper into the critical appreciation of the poem. Clever use of conceits. Donne employs extended metaphors and conceits throughout the poem to convey complex ideas. The comparison of the sun to an intrusive, busy old fool, and, saucy pedantic wretch, creates a humorous and satirical tone. The notion of being able to, eclipse and cloud them, the sun's beams, with a wink, adds a whimsical touch to the speaker's affectionate banter. Exploration of love and time, the poem centers on the theme of love's timelessness and its ability to transcend external forces. Dunn uses the sun as a symbol of time, and through witty wordplay, he dismisses the significance of time, seasons, and worldly possessions in the realm of true love. This exploration reflects the metaphysical poet's tendency to engage in intellectual and philosophical discussions in their poetry. Satirical tone. Don's playful and satirical tone in addressing the sun demonstrates his skill in employing humor to convey deeper truths. The speaker's playful mockery of the sun's perceived authority adds levity to the poem while underlining the primacy of love over external influences. Profound love. Beneath the humor and wit, The Sun Rising, is a love poem that celebrates the depth and power of affection. The speakers claim that their beloved encompasses all states and rulers elevates their lover to an almost divine status, emphasizing the significance of the relationship. Transcendence of Space and Place The poem emphasizes the idea that love creates its own world, encapsulated within the shared intimacy of the lovers. The bed becomes the center of this world, and the room's walls symbolize the limits of their universe. This concept of love transcending physical space is a recurring theme in Don's poetry. Use of poetic imagery. Don skillfully employs vivid imagery to describe the sun and its impact. The beams so reverent and strong, and the sun's duties of warming the world add depth to the metaphorical portrayal of the sun as a powerful entity. Unique voice and style. Don's distinctive voice, characterized by his clever wordplay metaphysical conceits, and a blend of wit and seriousness, sets, the sun rising, apart as a remarkable piece of poetry. The poem showcases Don's ability to combine intellectual exploration with emotional expression. In conclusion, The Sun Rising, is a brilliant example of John Don's metaphysical poetry, where humor, wit, and intellect intertwine to explore profound themes of love and time. Through inventive conceits and rich imagery, Dunn crafts a poem that celebrates the enduring power of love while playfully dismissing the limitations of time and worldly affairs. The Sun Rising, by John Dunn is a captivating poem that deserves critical appreciation for its ingenious use of conceits, exploration of love and time, and the seamless blend of wit and emotion. Let's delve into a more detailed critical commentary. Conceits and Metaphysical Exploration Don's skillful use of extended metaphors and conceits is a hallmark of his metaphysical poetry. In The Sun Rising, the sun is personified as an intrusive and arrogant figure, allowing the poet to engage in witty and satirical banter. 
This playful address to the sun serves as a vehicle for exploring profound philosophical themes, such as the nature of love, the insignificance of time, and the immensity of affection. Playful Satire The poem's satirical tone adds a layer of complexity and humor to the exploration of love and time. By mocking the sun's perceived authority and assigning it trivial tasks, Dunn humorously conveys the insignificance of external forces compared to the intensity of love. This satirical approach brings a fresh and entertaining perspective to a topic often treated with sentimentality in conventional love poetry. Timelessness of Love One of the central themes in The Sun Rising is the eternal nature of love. Through skillful wordplay and metaphors, Dunn suggests that true love transcends the constraints of time and space. The dismissal of time as the rags of time, and the assertion that lovers' actions need not be dictated by the sun's movements underscore the idea of a timeless and all-encompassing affection. Profound Love and Personal Voice The poem's expression of profound love is both tender and intensely personal. The speaker's devotion to their beloved shines through the playful language, allowing readers to connect with the depth of their emotions. Don's unique voice and personal engagement with the subject matter lend authenticity and sincerity to the poem. Imagery and Vivid Descriptions Don's use of poetic imagery enhances the sensory experience of the poem. Descriptions such as, beams so reverend and strong, and, busy old fool, create vivid mental images, contributing to the poem's richness and aesthetic appeal. Philosophical Contemplation As a metaphysical poet, Dunn uses, the sun rising, as a platform for intellectual and philosophical contemplation. The poem seamlessly weaves together metaphysical conceits and emotional expression, encouraging readers to ponder the nature of love and its relationship with time and worldly affairs. In conclusion, The Sun Rising is a remarkable example of John Donne's talent as a metaphysical poet. Through its inventive conceits, exploration of love and time, and playful satire, the poem captivates readers with its intellectual depth and emotional resonance. Donne's unique voice and style elevate the poem beyond conventional love poetry, making it a timeless and enjoyable piece of literature. The Sun Rising by John Donne is a captivating and multifaceted poem that merits discussion for its clever use of metaphysical conceits, exploration of love's timelessness, and the interplay between wit and profound emotion. Metaphysical Conceits and Poetic Ingenuity Donne's adept use of metaphysical conceits is evident throughout the poem. By personifying the sun as an intrusive and arrogant entity, the poet employs extended metaphors to convey complex ideas with imaginative comparisons. The sun is humorously addressed as a busy old fool, and a saucy pedantic wretch, setting a playful and satirical tone. This blending of wit and metaphysical exploration characterizes Don's unique poetic style. Love's Timelessness and Transcendence At the heart of, the sun rising, lies the theme of love's timelessness and transcendence. Dunn challenges the notion that love is subject to external forces such as time, seasons, and worldly affairs. The speaker dismisses time as insignificant, referring to it as, the rags of time, and instead celebrates love's capacity to endure beyond temporal constraints. This philosophical contemplation elevates the poem beyond a mere love poem, making it a profound reflection on the nature of love itself. Playful Satire and Intellectual Banter The poem's satirical tone and playful banter add layers of complexity and amusement to the exploration of love and the sun. By teasing the sun for its supposed importance, Dunn uses satire to emphasize the insignificance of external forces in comparison to the power of love. The clever and witty language engages the reader, drawing them into the humorous and intellectual discourse. Emotional Intensity and Personal Connection Beneath the wit and intellectual exploration, the sun rising carries a deep sense of emotional intensity and personal connection. The speaker's profound affection for their beloved is evident in the tender expressions of devotion and the desire to remain in their presence indefinitely. Don's ability to evoke both intellectual admiration and emotional resonance adds depth to the poem, making it accessible and relatable to readers across time. Imagery and Sensory Appeal Don's vivid imagery enhances the sensory experience of the poem, bringing the scenes to life in the reader's mind. Descriptions such as the, reverend and strong, sunbeams and the idea of eclipsing the sun with a wink create a vivid and memorable visual impact. This skillful use of imagery enriches the poem's aesthetic appeal and contributes to its lasting impact. Philosophical Contemplation and Intellectual Stimulation As a metaphysical poet, Dunn seamlessly weaves philosophical contemplation into his poetry. The Sun Rising serves as a platform for intellectual stimulation, inviting readers to ponder profound themes of love, time, and the relationship between the human experience and the natural world. 
The poem challenges conventional notions of love and time, encouraging a deeper reflection on the complexities of human emotion. In conclusion, The Sun Rising, by John Donne is a remarkable poem that invites critical discussion on various levels. Through its metaphysical conceits, exploration of love's timelessness, playful satire, emotional intensity, vivid imagery, and philosophical contemplation, the poem showcases Don's poetic brilliance and lasting relevance as a poet of depth and ingenuity.